What's good everybody? I hope everybody's having a great day, great night, whenever you're watching. So, got some things going on here this weekend and possibly next weekend too. You know, I got a lot of work as well, but you know, this weekend, as of the time I'm making this video, is Labor Day weekend, you know, which I'm happy about, you know. Man, I don't know if all schools are doing this, you know, but from what I've noticed, a lot of schools are starting like a week or two earlier than they used to. I know down south, they're used to doing that, you know, like they start like in the beginning of August, but you know, I live here in Michigan and, you know, seems like a lot of schools are making kids go to school early, you know, which... I don't get, you know, but I mean, it's whatever, you know, back when I graduated, which I'm a 2017 graduate, by the way, you know, but back when I was in school, you know, we didn't start school until <laughs> the day after Labor Day, so, you know, I don't know if Michigan's changing up a bunch of rules or what, but I mean, I guess it happened last year too with some schools you know so but anyways you know we're supposed to head back up to my dad's property or i think that's where we're going you know up in baldwin michigan or we might camp somewhere else i don't know my family and i had made some plans to go up to michigan's adventure i don't know if we still will do that i'm not 100 percent sure you know but one of the days we're up camp and we're supposed to go down over by whitehall and muskegon to go to michigan's adventure which i am happy about that you know i'm not too sure what all i'll do you know because i mean it's been a long time since i've been there you know so I think the last time I went was 2015, you know, I had just turned 17 at that point when we went, so, you know, I'm 23 now, so, you know, and then the weekend after, we're supposed to go to a county fair in Allegan, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Last year, that was canceled, you know, because of this coronavirus shit that's still going around, you know. I'm going to be honest, you know, I don't see this going away anytime soon, you know. Regardless if people get the vaccine or what, you know. And I'm not putting anybody on the blame, you know. You know, I'm not pointing fingers or anything. But the way I see it, I don't see this coronavirus shit going away anytime soon. So, you know, we'll just have to push through it and hope for the best, you know. It is what it is, you know. <laughs> Another thing I will say is, you know, man, last weekend, I guess, you know, a YouTuber, well, he's a podcaster, actually, that I watch, but I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Joe Rogan before, but, you know, he's one of my favorite podcasters, you know. I don't agree with everything he says, you know, but I do enjoy it. You know, watching his videos and listening to what he has to say. You know, he's interviewed all sorts of people, you know. But, you know, I guess last weekend he tested positive for the coronavirus, you know, which I was bummed about. But, you know, he said he's been taking all sorts of medicine and he said it's, it's helped him a lot. And so far he's doing better, you know. I think he's going to make it through, you know. I'm glad he's doing okay, you know. I've had a lot of family and friends, well, not a lot, but had some family and friends, excuse me, that have had coronavirus. And so far, you know, they've all made it through perfectly fine, you know. Personally, I didn't have coronavirus, you know, hopefully it stays that way, but, you know, I've had a lot of family and friends that have had it you know so and then uh, a buddy of mine you know he said that he lost 
his uncle to coronavirus, you know, I mean, he said issues in the past, but you know, he said, you know, he got coronavirus, you know, I don't know where or how he got it, but you know, he wore a mask, you know, he even had the vaccine, you know, had two doses of, of it, and you know, he still ended up, you know, with COVID about a month or two later and died from it, you know. You know, a lot of people say the vaccine will prevent you from getting killed from it, you know, but I honestly don't think that's the case. But that's just my opinion, you know. Everything affects everybody differently, you know. It's not just, you know, it doesn't happen to everybody, you know. It, it's it's life. Everybody handles everything differently. So, again, I'm not pointing fingers, you know. I'm just putting that out there right now. And for the past few weeks, we've been dealing with, like, 90s hot weather you know almost hundreds as well and you know past few days it's finally gone down to like the 70s and then it's been getting about around the 50s at nighttime which feels perfectly good you know I think last night it got down to like 48 you know which is really nice you know we definitely needed that but yeah, I mean, there hasn't been too bad, you know, a lot of people have asked me, you know, if I'm ready for, for fall, you know, and as much as summer is my favorite season, you know, I'm going to have to say yeah, you know, because I mean, my favorite thing about fall is seeing the amount of foliage and going to a corn maze, you know, and that's pretty much the main thing. Oh, and Thanksgiving too, you know. I mean, I like Halloween as well, but I think I like Thanksgiving a hell of a lot better, you know. I just do. I think as I've gotten older, you know, I've cared less about Halloween. Well, you know, every year or so we do have like a party around Halloween, but you know, we don't really trick or treat much anymore. You know, we'll take uh, my stepsister and my niece and nephew trick or treating, but you know that's about it. You know, they're all still young, so I'm 23 years old as I stated. So, you know, I will say though, you know, we do have a trip going on. I think. Uh, either next month or the end of September I'm not 100% sure you know we're supposed to go to the UP in the fall which is short for the Upper Peninsula we're supposed to go check out Tequamanon Falls you know I probably won't record this video long enough for that because I mean that's <laughs> that's a ways off you know some of the videos I make take me about a week or two to put together you know and they end up being like 25 30 minute video so yeah you know we're supposed to go up to the upper peninsula in the fall and hopefully it'll be nice by then probably cold but it's gonna be nice and fun all right i'm not gonna make this clip too long because it's about to start raining but we're about to leave for our trip got everything loaded up into my truck <laughs> all right i had to get in my truck because it started raining and i didn't want to get my tablet wet but yeah my truck is overloaded hopefully it doesn't downpour because <laughs> you know my wipers they work but you know the the max speed on them doesn't really i don't know what you call them full blast whatever you know they don't work I gotta get that checked, you know, they quit working on me about three or four weeks back. We were coming back from a lunch break, we were at work, and, <laughs> yeah, I had them on full blast because it was downpouring, and 
they just it quit all the other settings work just not the full blast so yeah i gotta get that figured out but like i said hopefully it doesn't downpour on the way there i don't care if it rains but hopefully not downpour <laughs> All right, guys, it's the next morning. I would have recorded last night, but it was late, and it was pretty dark out when we got here. It took us about um, an hour to get from Grand Rapids to here. You know, we stopped in Grand Rapids to get something to eat. But uh, from home to Grand Rapids, it took about maybe a good 40 to 45 minutes, which is usually average. But, you know, yeah, we're at the property right now, which I'll get here on video in just a minute. You know, we got some plans going on today. We're actually supposed to go down to Michigan's Adventure over by White Cloud, or not White Cloud, but Whitehall and Muskegon. Sorry, there's a, another town not too far from here called White Cloud. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, we're going to go there today. I don't know how much of that I'll get on video, you know, because I don't really plan on bringing in my tablet, but uh, I'll have my phone on me for parts of it, so I'll uh, I'll take some videos of it while we're uh, there. So, yeah, it's going to be a good day, although it is supposed to rain today, and uh, right now the temperature is low 60s but i mean that's whatever <laughs> us michiganders can handle any weather <laughs> as long as it doesn't downpour anyways <laughs> so anyways this is our property we do have another vehicle here my dad's f-150 you know that's my truck right there the the o2 chevy suburban that's a camper we're staying at my dad brought this property uh, a couple weeks ago. You know, this is up in Baldwin. You know, it ain't much right now, but I mean, it's decent. You know, I like it. And as the weather goes, I did mention that it was supposed to rain on the way here. It wasn't too bad, although when we were... I think out between Zealand and Grand Rapids, the weather looked like it wanted to get bad. You know, like there was dark clouds and you could see spots where it looked like it was downpouring in the distance. Luckily, we avoided those, you know. I mean, we got hit with some rain like between Grand Rapids and Reed City, but I mean, other than that, you know, it wasn't too bad, you know. I think it was decent. Here's another view real quick. Got plenty of wood right here. Got a little bit of a burn spot. More wood back there. I know it's a little messy here right now, but 
we'll get that taken care of. <laughs> I believe it. Too bad you can't fish here. <laughs> It's getting wavy. Oh, <laughs> Didn't want to do the waves. <laughs> <laughs> Banana! <laughs> Ring your bell, dude! Banana! 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 Nana! Nana! <laughs> <laughs> Yep, she is. She's right on her tail. flag flying strong and proud God bless America and God bless Texas Roadhouse just another day at the campsite not sure how well you guys can see them but I'm about to go do some trail riding I'm following them in a pickup truck Made our first stop. Man, these trails are super bumpy today.
tailing a bit. <laughs> they were, they were kind of doing the same thing. Austin, you might want to get on the road, dude. We're coming into Luther. <laughs> Don't worry, I got my attention on the road. Oh yeah, this song, best song out there. <laughs> We're in Luther now. This is a beautiful small town. <laughs> All right, well, we just had a four wheeler breakdown, and I'm towing it with my dad's F 150 right now. <laughs> yeah, that sucks guys can see I don't know how well you guys can see but yeah oh what fun <laughs> and we are back at it had to go back to the property and pick up a different four-wheeler good thing we came prepared I don't know what happened with the other one and why it broke down but luckily we came prepared <laughs> Beautiful country up here. I've got to say, I'm on my way. I don't know exactly what everybody's doing, but we're just sitting here right now. This is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we don't float. <laughs> okay, so they just went in the water. Okay then. Is that guy gonna go in too? What is he doing? All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video by making this last clip. I, I know the back of my truck looks like a big-ass mess right now. It's because we are just coming back from our uh, camping trip. Um, I'm actually, uh, I think we're going to head to my aunt and uncle's for a little cookout. You know, right now I'm just waiting for my stepsister to get over here. You know, her, her dad is coming over and I'm supposed to pick her up from him then we were gonna head over there but um, so I know this video turned out to be a really long video and I know the first few clips were mainly just me talking a bunch you know my apologies about that that's just one of my habits but um so uh, yeah you know we love going up north and we enjoyed going to Michigan's Adventure. I know I didn't really take a whole lot of clips there. 
you know, mainly because for most part we were on, you know, some of the water rides and I didn't want to get my phone wet and I didn't have my tablet on me either, so, you know. But, um, that's pretty much all I got to say for this video. Um, I hope everybody is having a great Labor Day. You know, it's Labor Day as of the time I'm making this clip. You know, so I hope everybody had a great Labor Day as well as a great Labor Day weekend. You know, hopefully everybody, you know, had a great one, played it safe. Hopefully nobody got sick from COVID. You know, that shit is still going around, unfortunately. But, um, you know, a drive from northern Michigan all the way to here, that was a long-ass drive. A lot of people coming home from vacation and highways are just they were just bad i mean really bad but uh yeah anyways that's all guys you know hope everybody's having a great day great night whenever you're watching this see you later